Hi everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm in Disneyland Paris in front of Toad Hall which is a quick service restaurant that has recently opened after about two, three years. It's been closed since, you know, the lockdown, since 2020 and before the pandemic as well it was hardly ever open to be honest so it's really nice to see it back open. It's got a new menu as well including a vegan option so I thought we'd go in there and try it out, see what it's like and yeah, come along. Toad Hall is located in Fancyland, just opposite to meet Mickey, which is where you can meet Mickey Mouse. And over there you've got Alice's Curious Labyrinth. Um, and yeah, it mainly serves fish and chips. Before the pandemic, the menu was a little bit different. They had a couple of other varieties as well. But at the moment, we're going to have a quick look right now. So yeah, yeah, it's a quick service as I mentioned. Fish and chips is one of the options over there for 12 euros. Then you've got a vegan uh, and chips, pane vegan and chips, 12 euros as well. But of course, it's vegan, which is really nice to see. I'm so happy to see more vegan friendly options here in Disneyland Paris. And then you can also get a small fish and chips uh, for your kids if you've got children. And this is also new, of course, sponsored by La Vache qui Rit, which is a cheese. And uh, yeah, that's a new dessert option, which we are also going to try hopefully today. And and yeah, this is the outside area. They've got a little terrace as well, which is nice on a beautiful day like today. It's quite sunny. You can actually sit, your, sit outside and eat your dinner, your food, your meal uh, in the outdoors under the blue skies here if you wish to. But yeah, I'm going to go in now and uh, order my food. I'm actually really looking forward to it. Uh, just to actually be inside the restaurant. I haven't stepped inside Toad Hall since 2017. Uh, if you want to watch the vlog of me being here last time, 2017, I want to say June. Watch it down below. I'll link it if you want to. But yeah, it's been like five years since I was last inside this place. And even from the outside, it does look adorable. I mean, look at him. There's Mr. Toad, his restaurant over here welcoming us in there. And thankfully, after so long, it's actually open. I can't believe I'm actually stepping inside it. Look at him. There he is. The decor in this restaurant, the theming, is actually one of the best I've seen in any of the quick service restaurants here in Disneyland Paris. And if you want to see the menu and have a proper look at it on your phones, you can just scan this over here to get a better idea. But I obviously showed it to you earlier as well. Look how cute it is. Just the artwork everywhere. And thankfully it doesn't seem to be too busy either right now. So yeah, hopefully we won't be waiting too long to get our fish and chips. So after what feels like an eternity later, I have just ordered my food. Um, came to about 17 euros something. I'll get you the actual price in a bit. But yeah, just waiting for it now. Merci. Merci beaucoup, merci. So, we've got our food. It looks really, really good actually. I'm going to show it to you in a second. And I found a lovely table as well. This restaurant, like I said, it's gorgeous. And there's quite a lot of seating areas too. There are also some outside, which I showed you earlier. So if you want to sit outside, you can. But I decided to just, you know, eat inside. Why not? Because it is beautiful. And I want to spend as much time as possible inside the actual restaurant because the ring is finally open after so long. It was about half an hour of the queue just to get to my food though. And I just thought I'd mention it because even though this is a quick service place, Disneyland Paris quick services definitely aren't quick. Sometimes they can be. Today is a pretty busy day at the park anyway. Um, it's the day before the 30th anniversary. The 30th anniversary is tomorrow, so today is the 11th of April 2022. It's packed. I mean, there's been queues of like one hour, two hour, three hour long for everything almost. All the rides in the park, even like rides that aren't normally um, that popular. So it is busy and, you know, like I said, I just wanted you to be aware. You might have to wait in line quite a while. I don't mind at all, but I know that some people, if you don't expect it, it can be a bit annoying, especially if you know you're starting to get hungry and that can then turn into hunger. But yes, the food, of course, the food is the main event and the fish and chips looks so good actually you get two uh, slices of fish or pieces of fish the chips are um, under them i went for the tartar sauce because i feel like that's just a classic way to do fish and chips but you can also have it with ketchup if you wish to and then i love this new thing that they've done as well so before um you know the reopening of toad hall they would just give them in a box but now they literally like wrap them in this like newspaper type thing to make it as traditional as possible and the newspaper i love it look at the print it's um the toad hall telegraph and there's just like actual stories I want to say about Toad Hall on the newspaper. I think that's a really lovely touch that they've done to this restaurant and just adorable to be honest. Our dessert however keeps falling down and like as I was waiting for my fish and chips the cast member as well kept trying to get this to stay up but he kept falling I mean oh okay 
it's doing okay now, but this is what um, the Toad Hall dessert looks like. I'm curious to try it. I mean, it looks adorable. I have to say it was four euros, by the way. Fish and chips, 12 euros, four euros for this. And then I think this was about maybe one euro 50 for my bottle of water. So the, there's no menu at Toad Hall. There used to be menus, but they don't have them anymore. You have to kind of pay separately. I like cash for whatever you want to. But there you go. This is um, my food. And then this is my view as well. It's lovely. It's lovely being able to people watch through these windows. Like I said, Peter Pan's flight will be over there. Um, and you can see some of the tables for the terrace of the restaurant as well over here. And loads more tables rest, you know, available here as well. Just in case you were wondering how many places there are here. Like I said, it is quite big. So let's give this some fish and chips a go. I'm gonna obviously hand sanitize my hands first. Ooh, I think I might have got a bit too much there. Again, there you go, if you want to see the portion size. It is quite big. Um, I feel like it's a good good size for 12 euros. I've got my cutlery as well, which I'm going to open up now. Oh yeah, they do also give you some salt, like some extra salt, if you're the kind of person who wants more salt on the fish and chips. I'm not going to put any salt on it just yet. I'm just going to try it as it is, and then if I feel like it needs more salt, of course I will add some. Oh, I've got a crispy bit of fish going on here. I think it's the tail of the fish, but I don't mind. Let's try it this way. Yeah, it's not bad. The tartar sauce is also very good. I've got a bit of tartar sauce. I'm just going to have a chip over here now with some tartar sauce mm. yeah the chips are nice the tartar sauce is really lovely the fish itself i'm going to eat a bit more of it because i only got the tail there you go here's another piece of the fish of the two pieces of fish that you get yeah it's good i feel like it probably does need a bit of salt though like it's not salty enough so i'm gonna add just a little bit of salt on here there you go i'm gonna try it now with some added salt just to see if it tastes any better i mean like i said don't get me wrong even without salt it's nice but i just want to see what it's like now that i've added some salt to it yeah it's definitely better it's definitely better with just not a lot of salt just like the salt that they give you and a cast member like actively gave the salt to me anyway so maybe it's just they know that they need to uh, you know you need to add a bit of salt to it to make it better anyway so there you go i'm gonna enjoy the rest of my fish and chips now and uh, get back to you later so we can try the mr toad dessert I'm about halfway through my meal so far and really, really enjoying it actually. Like, there's a reason that Toad Hall was very popular amongst Disneyland Paris fans before it closed a few years ago and I'm so glad that it's back now. The fish and chips, it might not be the best fish and chips I've ever had, but it does just taste so nice and just the whole vibe of the restaurant and like I said, my spot right now as well is so nice. Well, I have just finished my uh, fish and chips and um, I love how cute the newspaper, the fake newspaper is that they uh, wrap the fish and chips in. Also, they give you quite a, like a decent amount of tartar sauce as well. I expected to like finish the whole thing but there's still some left and I'm somebody who really enjoys tartar sauce and mayo as well of course that's my favorite but tartar sauce is probably my second favorite sauce in the world so yeah pretty generous portion I would say and pretty generous serving of the sauce as well but look how cute this is now um, honestly I wish you could just get like a, a clean version of this newspaper and just enjoy it like I'd, I'd read this but like um, they've really gone through a lot of effort to make this look authentic Toad Hall Telegraph, how cute. There's Mr. Toad over there as well, adorable. And then Toad Hall Telegraph, no time in particular. And then of course, he's also hiding there behind all the tartar sauce. Yeah, I absolutely love what they've done with uh, this. It's time to try the Mr. Toad dessert now. And thankfully he's still managing to stay up somehow. He does keep falling down, not gonna lie, but he doesn't really smell of too much, to be honest. But there's another look at it. Uh, yeah, Mr. Toad looking adorable on this little roulette type of thing. Okay, so they have given me cutlery for this, like a little spoon. I'm guessing that's the best way to eat this, and that's what I'm gonna do, obviously. But he keeps wanting to fall down. Like, what's wrong with you, Mr. Toad? Don't you wanna stand up? Okay, I'm very, very curious to see what this is all about. Here's a closer look at this Mr. Toad dessert. Yeah, let's uh, try it. Okay, it's not bad. I'm not quite sure what it is actually because as you can see it's um, like a red colour here but I don't know if it's just food colouring or if it actually tastes of something. It's a bit like pinky red. It's got hints of something. I can't quite tell what though but it's very very sweet. This dessert is pretty sweet. Um, very spongy obviously. It's not bad by any means but it's not one of my favourites. I am now going to give Mr. Toad himself a go. I feel like this is going to be a chocolate or chocolate... Um, 
thing, but um, yeah, we'll um, bite into them. Yeah, it's white chocolate, and I love white chocolate. Mr. Toad, I'm sorry, I know you want to be alive, I've already bitten some of you off, but I really enjoy it. Yeah, the dessert itself though, I have to be honest, it's not one of my favorites, but I'm still gonna eat as much as I can of it. No, I can't eat the rest actually, I'm sorry. It's just not to my taste. I don't think it tastes bad, but I think there's some kind of flavor to it because of the, the red uh, color that the dessert has, that gives it maybe, like a strong fruity flavor perhaps and it's also very very sweet the whole thing it's not my thing but mr toad himself tasted lovely and it's a very cute instagrammable dessert as well in my opinion four euros by the way not sure if it's worth it for that price but if you love mr toad i feel like it's definitely worth trying anyway price wise here's how much i paid for this 17 euro 37 um i got uh, about one euro 50 of a discount because of my mag uh, magic pass my annual pass but you can see here fish and chips cost 12 euros euros my bottle of water actually 330 which is more expensive than i thought to be honest um, and then four euros for mr toad Boule, the mr toad is what they call them here so yeah a bit on the pricier side when it comes to quick services i think especially because they don't have a menu option here like some of the other quick services do here at disneyland paris it just adds up to make it a little bit more expensive some other places like for instance hakuna matata uh, cafe hyperion they have three different menu options normally and with that you can get a drink a dessert and a menu course all at once and they would cost probably a, maybe about 15 16 euros so maybe actually less expensive than what i got here but like i said the fish and chips was pretty good uh, nice portion too i'm completely full now from eating it the dessert i wasn't the biggest fan of but some people would enjoy it it's just not something that is to my taste personally and uh, the water is just water isn't it what i am really enjoying though is my view like i said this restaurant gives really lovely views of fantasy land you can even see the castle over there and fantasy land is my favorite land in Disneyland Paris after Main Street USA so it's just so cute it's very nice and relaxing and magical but yeah it's unfortunately time to leave leave my lovely seat over there with that nice view that I had through these windows here before I go there I'm going to give you a quick tour of the restaurant as well because it is quite beautiful as I keep mentioning so this is an overview of the dining area that I was just sat at um, really cute really lovely and then we've got this ceiling uh, at the top as well and I just love these stained glass windows like I said, it's nice to be able to look through these beautiful windows to fancy land, really, really cute. And then, ooh, also some high chairs. If we keep going, we are going to get to this other section here with some more seats over here. And this is probably the most themed area of Total, actually. As you can see here, there's a lot going on. Nice photos of Mr. Toad. Oh my God, look at his expression over there. That is so funny. And then he's ice skating over here. I don't know if you can see him or not. There you go. He looks so funny really really cute and again like i said a lot more artwork and just things to look at everywhere <laughs> oh my god brilliant he's doing some boxing over here yeah very very nicely themed as i said there's even like a little chimney situation going on here and that big photo of mr toad as well at the mona lisa that is awesome honestly if you're a fan of mr toad or just mr toad and his adventures i feel like it's a crime to come to disneyland paris and not come to toad hall because there's just so many cute things to look at and the food itself is pretty good too i mean just look at all the details everywhere everywhere you look there's something cute and of course over there you've got mr toad again in his union jack t-shirt <laughs> looking very proud of himself i love it yeah really cool walton road over there as well very english very very british so yeah it's good to see this restaurant back open again and to have an option of getting quick service fish and chips in a very cute location that kind of is an ode to Britain, to Great Britain. And of course, also an ode to the wonderful Mr. Toad himself. But there we have it. I am about to leave the restaurant now. It's so cute. This restaurant is just adorable, right? And the cutest thing is that when you come out of the restaurant, you come into some more cuteness because Fantasyland is just such a cute land. You've got the castle behind me. It's just, I really enjoyed that experience, you know? I really did. So again, there it is, that's Toad Hall, that's the entrance, that's the, where we went through. And then here we've got Fantasyland, the beautiful uh, castle over there, Sleepy Beauty Castle. The terrace is getting busier now as well, actually. I don't remember being <laughs> seeing so many people earlier. Uh, I probably spent about 45 minutes in there. Well, actually, no, about an hour, because half an hour of it was spent just queuing, waiting for my food. Let me just go down these steps. And yeah, another like 15, 20 minutes of eating, probably. Um, but yeah, 
I definitely enjoyed it. Would I recommend this quick service place? Yes. I feel like if you like fish and chips, then yeah, this is a nice place to go and get yourself some fish and chips in Fancyland. If you love Mr. Toad, then absolutely you need to come here. I mean, I particularly don't have much of an interest in Mr. Toad. I don't have any like particular love for him. He's cute, but he's not one of my favorite characters or anything. But I feel like if it is, then it's just cute to go in there and have a look. Even if you don't get like a full meal, you can get yourself some chips or I don't know, a dessert. Um, maybe, the, maybe the Mr. Toad dessert it might be cute to try if you like him. It's also just a very nice restaurant overall, like I said, and really nicely located in my opinion, in a cute part of Fancyland. And the great thing is they do also have a vegan option. And in a future video, I will make sure to try the vegan option. Either me or my friend Izzy, who is vegan herself, she might try it at some point. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see what my thoughts are on the vegan option and what that looks like. But yeah, that's more or less it for this video. I enjoy it. I'm happy that this restaurant is back open. And as far as I'm aware, it is meant to be open more or less every day now, thankfully. It's definitely my favorite quick service restaurant here in Fancyland. The other two being Bella Notte, of course, and uh, Ochala de la Marionette. And yeah, this out of the three is definitely the best one. It is limited in terms of its menu options. Like I said, it's basically just fish and chips or a vegan version of fish and chips, which I think is tofu. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, I will try it in a future video. But if you like that kind of thing, then I would recommend it. But that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you've ever eaten at uh, Toad Hall, if you are hoping to visit uh, Toad Hall in the future. Subscribe for more videos and follow me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one. Bye.